we're getting pretty close here but like I said this thing this thing gets super tight as we go in so that frame rail is still above this here it's hard to tell depth but we're still above that but this is going to get extremely tight here so this is one of the spots you want to watch <clears throat> this alternator <clears throat> this alternator gets very tight on this here so uh, here in a minute I'll have a I'm gonna put a rag over top of this and try and cover that up just to make sure we don't scuff it uh, these frame horns are very tight on the side of this motor so if you have everything painted this is definitely where you want to go slow and if you have an extra friend this would be a good time to have a friend um, Okay, <clears throat> we are really close to in position now. Um, our axle cup is now above our control arm mount. My poor little four wheel cart here has decided to split in the middle, so it's going to make it a little more difficult as my motor is sitting at an off angle. That thing should be sitting pretty level so I'm probably gonna have to get a little floor jack underneath my transmission and pick that end up a little bit but we'll deal with that here in a minute we are close to in position and we haven't cross your fingers scratched anything yet first mount we're gonna attach is the motor one so we're gonna grab this guy and our five bolts um, these are these use a six millimeter Allen so I'll grab you one of those and um, we'll start everything by hand and then uh, the next mount we will do will be the upper transmission mount Bad. so I've got a little grease on the outside of this bushing Okay, so I actually have the motor mount bracket like in the frame horn, but it's not it's not bolted in because I still need to I know I gotta wiggle this motor around to get these bolts started. So I started threading these bolts in by hand. And like I said earlier, this motor's sitting at a wonky angle because of my broken cart it's not gonna make life any easier started the two on the crank pulley side I'm gonna wait on until I pick this motor up and get it a little more square okay these bolts on the back of the motor are threaded all the way down by hand um, but they're not I did not tighten them and what I'm gonna to try to do now is I'm actually gonna slip the the motor mount bolt through the frame through our bushing and get it started get it started in this frame pocket because that will help keep this one side stationary while I fix my crooked cart with a floor jack underneath the transmission um, Oh, about threw everything in the floor. Valve cover's not on there very tight. The hard part with these non-tapered bolts is getting the angle just right because they don't they don't help you.
Okay, so I'll try and show you this without making you guys puke. You can see that we've got the bolt started into our threaded pocket there for the motor mount. Now we've got our transmission mount, our transmission mount bolts, and we have a jack underneath our transmission to fix our broken crooked cart. And we're just going to pick up a little bit. So just with a little bit of grease on them, they go in so much easier. That's roughly where we're going to want it to be. You got to have it just started in the frame, but not all the way lined up. bolts run into the inner fender and you can't put them in okay so the bolts are in this right now would be when I would put this cable tab on if we were going to go cable clutch this one is going to get hydraulic so here's where your cable clutch would go on we're not installing that so it's just time for the two jam nuts Thread those on. And then lift the, the transmission up until it lines up with our mount. Thread our bolt in. So now we're going to go back uh, to the motor over there, finish putting in our two side mount bolts, tighten everything down, make sure that everything's tight on the back, moving underneath, uh, tighten up your lower transmission mount, um, we'll move to the uh, floor mount, attach it with the provided hardware, you will reuse your two um, nuts there, you see new ones, but again this car was provided with no hardware. Um, sometimes they come that way they're just M10 by 1.5s put those on everything is still kind of loose fit um, once you got everything lined up start tightening things down that's our washer and bolt that joins the two together once those are tight <coughs> you finish the bottom half of that mount there's a And there's everything sitting, there's your cutout. Congratulations, you've bolted in an 07K into your Mark I. Now it's time for axles.